Hello, and welcome to When a Black-Legged Tick Bite is More Than a Tick Bite. The learning objectives are listed here. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Maloney. I developed and narrate this module. I have no financial conflicts to disclose. I will be discussing the off-label use of antibiotics. Reports of known black-legged tick bites appear to be a source of confusion for some clinicians. While only approximately 20% of all patients with Lyme disease were aware of the bite that caused their infection, when a tick bite history is present, it's crucial to consider the bite in the broader clinical context. Was it a black-legged tick, a different tick, or an unknown species? How recent was the bite? Within the last 72 hours or longer than that? Perhaps most importantly, does the patient feel well or do they currently have symptoms of Lyme disease? Here are pictures of several different hard ticks that are endemic to the United States. If a patient brings in their tick, these photos may aid in identifying the species. If they no longer have the tick, they may be able to identify it from the photos. Tick identification is an important step because black-legged ticks are the only established vector of Lyme disease in the United States. Eastern and Western black-legged ticks, Exoides scapularis and Exoides pacificus, have the ability to transmit other pathogens. Thus, a single bite can lead to multiple concurrent infections. Antibiotic prophylaxis has only been studied for the prevention of Lyme disease and not the other exoides transmitted illnesses. For patients with recent bites, it's important to establish whether they are symptomatic or asymptomatic. Rashes that are present at the time of tick removal may represent either an allergic reaction to the tick saliva or the beginning of an EM rash. Time will help distinguish which type of rash your patient has. The rash of an allergic reaction is typically gone within 48 hours of tick removal, while untreated erythema migrans rashes will continue to expand for many days to weeks. Not all patients with early Lyme disease develop an erythema migrans rash. However, other symptoms and signs listed here are tip-offs to the diagnosis. The appearance of erythema migrans rashes, as shown here, is highly variable. The range of potential colors is wide, anything from a faint salmon to a deep scarlet, and its location on the body may distort an erythema migrans shape. The classic bullseye lesion has central clearing. This appearance is relatively uncommon. In fact, studies suggest that less than 20% of all EM rashes are bullseyes. In darkly complected patients, EMs may masquerade as a bruise. EM rashes on the lower leg may have small vesicles at the center of the rash. The management of patients with a known black-legged tick bite depends on their symptom status. Asymptomatic patients may be candidates for antibiotic prophylaxis for Lyme disease. A cost analysis modeled on 14 days of doxycycline therapy demonstrated that prophylaxis is cost-effective when the risk of acquiring Lyme disease is greater than 3.6%. Although the evidence is limited, the preferred agent is doxycycline. Mouse studies suggest that the effectiveness of prophylaxis is significantly diminished when it has begun more than 48 hours after tick removal. See the modules on managing exodes bites for additional details regarding antibiotic prophylaxis. Symptomatic patients have Lyme disease. They require antibiotic treatment immediately. Basing treatment decisions on the results of serologic testing and watchful waiting are never appropriate in this group. See the module on early Lyme disease for details. Thanks for participating in this CME activity when a black-legged tick bite is more than a bite.